everybody. Thanks for uh, joining me. Sorry, it's been a while so since I did my last video. Um, I went to the Goodwill Outlet again. Yay! And it has been a long time since I've gone. Um, life has just been really busy. I always say that, but I have five kids at home. Um, it's a busy household. Winter break. I really, I was done with school. I really wanted to go to the outlet a few times uh, during my break from school. It didn't happen. I went once. So on New Year's Eve day, I went down there and it's about a 45 minute uh, drive for me. And um, for those of you who are just watching, sorry, I'm Shelly Thrifty Farm Mama. I um, resell on Poshmark hardly and eBay and I'm a busy mom and I get stuff for myself too. So anyway, back to it. I want to just get to it. I uh, spent $100 and almost exactly like at $100 and I was there for about four hours. Um, and I'm going to show you everything I got literally like I have stacks around me, so I want to get right to it. Um, so I'll show the first thing I got, which was in my thumbnail picture, but I was really surprised. And you guys, just so you know, I, I'm not one of those, I, if you've ever been to the Goodwill outlet, it's crazy in there. It can, it can get really scary. Um, so when they bring out new bins, it's like a madhouse. Everybody rushes to it. Um, I stay away from that. Um, I find plenty of good stuff without being the first one in the bins. And literally it's like two minutes that everyone's like grabbing, 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 and then they all leave it. So then there's just piles of stuff still to go through. Um, so everything I found is in bins that have already been picked over that people have already rushed through. And I'm just going through, taking my time, looking for good stuff. And this was one that was right laying on top. It's a coach bag, as you can see, with the silk scarf that comes with it. It is very clean. I was really surprised. All the zippers work. Everything works. It a, has a satin interior. Um, it has like the label in it. So... Um, I was super pumped to find that. I've only found one other coach bag. So that was probably one of my best finds of the day. And honestly, it's a few, it's this been, it's been almost a week since I've been and I haven't even processed any of this stuff or really gone through it. So some of this stuff could be new to me as well. I'm going to show you another really big thing that I got too. I get a little bit of everything. I don't just get clothes. I don't just get shoes. So I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of everything, not just clothes. Um, I also found this Kelty Kids Pack. It's huge. So um, it's a it's a Kelty Pathfinder. Any of, you, any of you who have had children, you know that these are super expensive. It's in excellent condition. I paid $3 for it. So I'm going to sell this uh, locally um, online. Ooh, ah. Get that out of the way. It's big. So I'm going to sell that locally, like on a buy, sell trade or to a parent mom to mom group, because I don't have any babies anymore. So I don't need that. Um, also, just an FYI, anybody who is watching that would see something that they really like or that they want to put an offer on, I'm going to leave my email address down below um, and just send me an email of what you would like, item you'd like and how much or and we can decide a price and I can send you an invoice through PayPal. I'd be happy to send you guys, you know, if you guys want to just purchase something where it's straight from me, I'm totally an honest person. So, um, I am happy to do that. So if you see something you really like and want, just let me know. Hello. Okay. I'm going to try to go fast. I have a thing for vintage toys. I probably shouldn't have gotten it, but it's so cute. It's just one of those little vintage Fisher price. Um, like it's a lace up shoe that has, Anyway, it's pretty beat up and it needs a good cleaning, but I like, I like stuff. I also bought this for my little ones. It's just a weather felt weather thing. And it has like pockets with all the days and the sun and all that kind of stuff and the months and the days of the, of the month and everything. This was cool. Um, this was in one of the bins. Uh, I saw a guy looking at it and somebody was trying to tell him what it was. And I went, Hey, if you don't want that. I'll take it. And he's like, Oh, okay, here you go. And it's a baby ergo, oh, sorry, ergo baby carrier. I, I absolutely adored this for my babies. Um, mine went through two kids, and this is in excellent condition. I should be able to get about 25 to 34. They're 100 brand new, and it, this is in, I mean, it, there's no marks on it, no stains. It's really clean. So that was cool to find that. 
Um, I also found this is L.L. Bean. No, I just keep saying that. It's Land's End. And it's a little dog, 100% wool dog sweater. How cute is that? But I know there aren't any of these on eBay. I kind of looked it up. But I know Land's End dog sweaters go for a good 20, 25 bucks. So that would be cool if I could get that. Um, I'm kind of going through my accessories first, I guess. I found this vintage Disney, it's a Pooh Bear duffel bag. So it has like Pooh Bear on it. It has the handles and it has the giant shoulder strap too. Um, and then on the back it says Pooh and it's in really good shape. I mean, it's it, there's no holes in it or snags or anything. And it is Disney. Here's the Disney tag on it. Oh, you can't see it in the light, but it is Disney. So that's pretty cool. Um, I always pick these up because, I mean, they don't sell for a ton, but they're really popular and they do sell. These are, it's 31 is the brand and it's kind of like a multi-level marketing company, but they sell lots of really neat totes. And this is just a polka dot, blue polka dot tote. Um, so I always pick those up. They're not very heavy. They ship really easy and they usually sell for about $15. I like looking at hats also. Hats sell really well, especially good ones like these. Um, I just sold one of these for $25 with free shipping. Not this exact one, but it was the same brand. And the brand is, I think it's called Noari. Noari, something like that. But it is wool and it's um, made in Nepal and it has a flannel lining in it, with little tassels. So I usually will always pick those up if they're in good condition. And here's another one that was really cool. And the brand is um, Sweater Heads from Astoria, Oregon. And I couldn't find any of these on eBay, but um, that's okay. I thought it was really neat anyway. Somebody will really like that. And here's another hat. This is really, really cool. I may just keep this for myself because it's really fun. There was no brand on it. That's right. There was no brand, but it was just, it's really fun. So. I thought that was neat. It doesn't feel like it's wool. It feels like it's acrylic, but it's soft. Um, here's another hat that I found. The flower on it. Oh, there's a fuzz on it. And this is a Asian eye, and it is 100% wool. So this is really a cute hat, too. I might keep that one, too. <laughs> Okay, this one I probably shouldn't have got. It's nothing. I might just keep it for my own yoga mat, but it's, um, I think it's Gaim is the brand, Gaim. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's just a canvas yoga mat carrier with a strap on it. It's, they're really not, sell even brand new, they're selling for like $10 with free shipping, and this is not brand new. It's faded and has some marks on it, so some things are just hit and miss. Um, these I just got for my girls. They're little... Um, fuzzy uh, mittens with leather on the padding of them and they're soft. They don't have a, I wonder if that's an isotoner brand. Might be. They don't have a brand, a tag in them. Okay, moving on. Oh, I found this cool vintage 90s. This is totally something I would have worn in high school. Um, Paisley, there you go. Totally would have worn that with a long velvet dress and my red Doc Martens. Like that would have been all me so and it's corduroy it's just really cool um so i'll put that up for 10 or 15. more hats this is an under armor and again all this stuff had already been picked through you guys this is what i found it's unbelievable felt um i believe this is a little girl's hat so i may keep this seeing as i have uh three little girls that might love this let's see uh, unless uh, unless one of you really, really wants it. And then, of course, I'll sell it. <laughs> My girls have a plenty of hats. Youth. Yep, it's a youth. Um, one size fits all. So it's a little girl's youth Under Armour hat. Super cute. Okay, next I found this vintage rabbit fur fully lined hat. Um, there's no tag in it, but it is real rabbit fur. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, here's another one. Do you guys see? I kind of like hats and winter hats are awesome too. Um, this is a seasons of cannon falls inspiring tradition and it is wool also with a, with the lining on the inside to keep you from getting all scratchy. 
So that's super cute. Two, oh, I found a cool fanny pack. Um, in gear, this, I totally remember this brand in, from the 90s, but it has like two water bottle holders on the side and a nice big pocket. It's in great condition. Yay, uh, I found this brand new Cowboys um, baseball hat. Still has all the tags in it. Originally $29.99. I usually don't buy baseball hats just because I, um, oh, it's a medium large and it's not a snapback. So um, I usually don't buy baseball hats though, just because I don't know a lot about them. I and mean, they're not really interesting to me. That's the thing is sell what's interesting to you. Otherwise it'll end up in your death pile. Um, this is a vintage REI. There's the vintage tag, polar fleece, and it is one of those long, I totally remember going up snowboarding and seeing guys wearing these pointed hats and stuff. So I haven't, I haven't researched this at all um, to see, you know, what it's worth. And so I'll have to look that up. Mm, this is a, I don't know how to pronounce that. Is that Sherpani? Sherpan, Sherpani? Anyway, it is like a little crossbody purse. I think I got two of them that I was going to lock together and it has the magnetic closure. It's, it's in really good condition. It's pretty clean. Um, anyway, it's cute. I like that brand. This was just a silk scarf that has like animal print on it with peacock feathers. Um, and it's a, I don't know what that's called. You guys, I'm so horrible. It's Lavello. No, it's chiffon, hundred percent chiffon. Um, and it's the solid ring. I don't, I don't know what that's called. It's a scarf <laughs> with feathers on it. It's super fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is just a little Victoria's Secret bag. I thought I would just lot it up with one of like with the Victoria's Secret bras. Cause I find those all the time. So I thought I'll just put this in this bag in there with with uh, with that. This was another, I believe, um, yeah, this is a women's Under Armour um, cool headband, like for working out and it's got like the metal um, tag on it. So that's cool. I have not looked that up yet either, but I, I snatched that. That's awesome. So, and it's like the double layer one. This was cool too. This is a, um, it's a Converse All-Star canvas big giant duffel bag like it's really big and it has the shoulder strap it has the handles I love these kind of canvas bags because they are really big they hold a lot and they pack up really nicely like they fold up and um they they ship out nicely so it does have a little wear to it but it definitely has a lot of life left in it as well so that was cool I'll put that on Poshmark and the men's stuff. Um, I just, I don't, I haven't looked these up. These are just snow walkers still in the package. So I just grabbed them. They're super light, but I have no idea what those will go for. Oh, here. Yes. There's another, no, no, no. This is a 31. So here's another 31, that brand that I was telling you about. And this is just a little canvas crossbody with stitching and it has a thick strap on it. Black. Um, this is a skip hop, um, changing. No, it's not a changing mat. It's basically, no, it is a changing mat. I'm sorry. So it folds out to your baby's changing mat. skip hop is, was, is a pretty nice brand. Um, so it's just a skip hop accessory. Oh, look, it has, it even has the baby wipe holder in it, which I did not realize. So that's awesome. So yay, that's pretty cool. I don't know how much that's going for, but I know that that's a good brand, so that's cool. Okay, yay, one bag done. Let's keep going. Okay, now I'm gonna do some clothes. I saw this tag, I saw the tag and I was like, ooh, I wonder if the pants are attached to that. And sure enough, they were. So these are just a pair of men's pleated front. Um, they're like 90% silk Tommy Bahama um, trousers and they're brand new with the tags. Uh, they're size 33, 32. So, and they're originally $138. So bonus. I don't, I mean, I'll probably put them up for like $30 with free shipping. 
I don't even, I don't think they're quite a pound. So those are nice. I found, this was a little heavier. It's a women's Carhartt um, big jacket. Just like, it's just like the men's, but it's, it's for women. That's why I said women. Uh, and it's a size small. So I might sell that locally too, because I live in an area that does a lot of construction and somebody might want this. Okay, this was cool. I found this on the end of a bin. It is, it's a Lululemon special edition. And it's kind of like a purpley gray color, but let me zip it. I have no idea what size it is. I have searched in every pocket. I cannot find a size tag. I'm guessing it's like a size six um, because I can squeeze into a size 10 in Lululemon on the top and this, I can't get this one zipped. So this is the front and it's got the thick stitch. It's really thick. And then this is the back. And it's got a cool zipper pocket in the back. And then it has, the, you know, your Lululemon hood with the embroidered Lululemon on the top. Now, here's the flaw, which is why somebody may have put it back. The cuffs, as you know, with all Lululemon wear out when they have the thumb hole. So these cuffs are, are pretty worn. Um, now, you definitely can fold them and you're not going to notice it as much. This cuff is even more worn, like it's really missing a big chunk of the actual cuff. So I'm still going to I'm still going to try to sell it um as is, but I yeah, I really think it's probably it's probably like a size 6. But that's the only flaw was on the cuffs that people don't really see anyway. And it's been I mean it's it's loved. Somebody's worn it. It's it's loved. It's really thick and heavy. So Okay, next, this is a little Under Armour um, with a little high-low hem. I may save this for my daughter. I believe it's a size seven, eight, maybe. Um, so it's just a little fleece. Actually, it's not fleece, it's fleece on the inside. Um, little Under Armour shirt. So unless somebody really wants it, then let me know. Oh, this was cool. I found this 90, or 1990s guess um, women's denim jacket. It's kind of like a crop, crop jacket um, that is in great shape. It's really soft. I don't know how it's so soft, but it's a women's extra large um, light wash. This, I think this is awesome. It does have like, somebody drew a little flower on the bottom of it. Um, so I'll put that in the listing too, but I'll probably try to sell that for 40 and, or but with best offer. <laughs> All right, I also found this um, Anthropology Maeve. Little, just a little polka dot blouse, three quarter sleeve. Um, that's a button front and I'm seeing a stain on it now that I'm looking on it. Oh, I don't think you guys can see it. It's a little pink stain right there. So that'll, I'll try to get that out. But other than that, there I don't see any flaws on it. Okay, I found two pairs of Nick and Nora women's extra large flannel pajama bottoms. So one is the sock monkeys and one is snowmen. I could not find the tops to them, which is fine. I'll just sell these together as a lot for like $15. It's no biggie. All right, you guys, one more bag down. Ah, that's stuck. Okay. This tipped over. I'll show you a few more of the goodies that I got. This is a um, Mulger. I don't know. Ikea. I almost always buy Ikea stuff if they're in the package because Ikea goes through their stuff a lot um, and they, or not goes through, they, um, they go out of stock. So, and then they, they're discontinued. They discontinue items a lot. So people are looking for matches or they they need a replacement of something. So I always buy Ikea replacement things. And this is just a, pa a toilet paper roll holder, but I should be able to get 10 to 15 for it. And it's not very heavy. So I didn't pay much. This is just another, it's a, it's a brand new, it's a little 31, like snowman tote. It's super cute. Um, still has the desiccant packet in there. And then there's the label 31 and it compacts into tininess. So that was cute. Um, okay. I don't buy tchotchkes. 
tchotchkes are like little knickknacks. I can't stand knickknacks. This was like at the end of the time that I was there and I just saw the box in the bin of clothes and I just threw it. It's not very heavy. So I just threw it in my, my basket. And what it is, is it's, it's actually a little, they're from, the, it's like from 1986 and they're like little porcelain bears. I have no idea what these are even worth because I don't really look up tchotchke things. Um, and it has, so it came with like a Joseph bear came with like a baby Jesus bear. And then it came with two little lambs. So I will look up the brand cause everything's branded and it says it's, um, Lucy rig, uh, 1986. So I don't know if you guys know anything about that stuff, you can let me know, but I don't really, I don't really do tchotchke things. So, and then I always pick up Revere Wear. If you've watched my other Revere Wear video, I love it. Um, and I look for the pre-1968 Revere Wear. And this one is, it has a loose, oh, I can, I can tighten that easy. And I'm going to oil the handle because it's uh, faded. But this is a pre-1968. Um, and you know because you can see the ring on the bottom right there. And that tells you that it is pre-1968. And this cleans up very easily um, with some copper cleaner. So copper bottom. And I, what I do is I save all of these when I find them for really cheap. And don't buy them if they're more than 5 or $6 each because you, you're not going to get a ton for it. But what I do is I save them up until I have a complete set. And then I'll lot the set together and sell it as a set for usually over $100. I also found this cute little Longa Burger basket. And these are expensive, brand new. I don't know if they're still expensive but anyway I got that and then I got some cute little cards that were brand new like photo album cards and then I got this for myself just because I really like it it's a basket um, it's probably like Hobby Lobby with you know yarn or rope around the top and it's just kind of rustic I thought it was really cool so that is most likely just for myself okay on to the next thing I picked up this it's a vintage Obermeyer this is probably from the 70s, maybe early 80s, but it is just a men's um, down puffer vest, and it has like the knit bottom. It has a couple little stains on it um, that I'll I'll probably try to get out, but um, it's and I it doesn't have a size on it, but I'm pretty sure it's a men's extra large or large. So, but those are kind of hipster cool things. Okay, let me show you guys some shoes that I got. Um, I didn't really, there were a ton of shoes, a ton of shoes there. Um, I don't like going through the shoes as much because I like shoes and people are really greedy with the shoes. Uh, so typically what happens is they bring out a, the row of bins of shoes and everybody like hoards around and then they're like, they say, okay, shop. And then people just start grabbing, grabbing single shoes, grabbing double shoes, whatever they can grab. And they just fill, not like a basket, not like a, like a regular shopping cart. They fill like the huge canvas ones full of like single shoes. And then they'll go through them all. And then they'll wait for other people to like go through their shoes and then put them anyway. It's annoying. So I did find some, um, some cute little Oh, that's missing the U on it. But these are just little Ugg boots, little girls. I'll, I'll probably keep these for my girls because they love Ugg boots. And these are a size 13. No, no, no. I'm sorry. These are a size 2. Um, so my, my daughter's in a size 13, so she won't be wearing those for a while. So if anybody's interested in those, they're a children's size 2, and they're wonderful. So let me know. Okay, I found these. Um, they rubber band all their shoes together. These are trotters, little ballet flats, and they're a fuchsia pink. Very cute. They're in fairly good condition. Like, very, not a ton of wear on them at all. Um, and these, I believe, are a size eight. Nope, they're eight and a half. They might even be an eight and a half wide. I think they are eight and a half W. Sweet, even better. So eight and a half W, they're really soft leather. 
Um, so pink fuchsia trotters, those are cute. Um, I also got these pair of men's um, Sinook canvas shoes um, and they're in fairly decent condition and they're men's size 13. So these will go over on Poshmark and eBay both. I like selling men's stuff on Poshmark. Um, my Poshmark store is super slow. Even with sharing, I just think it's saturated. I think there's too many of us that are selling on there. Um, so unless you have like specialty stuff or you're constantly sharing, which takes a ton of time. Okay, these are really cute. These are little Uggs, little Ugg ballet flats. And these are an eight and a half. Um, they're in really good condition. Uh, Goodwill wanted $29.99 for them and they ended up at the bins because nobody wanted them. So they're in really good shape. They're gray. They do have a small, like a small spot right here, but I think I can probably get that out if I so want to try, which I may not want to try because I don't have time. So, and I, that's another thing is I really don't look, I really try not to get projects. Like I want to find stuff that I can just list right away. I don't have to really work it getting them super cleaned up. These are just a pair of little boys Keens, Keen shoes. I, I absolutely loved these for my son. Absolutely, he wore these constantly. These are a US size 12 and they have no holes in them. They're in good shape, good shape. Okay, um, I found a little pair of ballet shoes. Um, I usually, these are dance ones. I usually pick these up and they sell for between seven and $10. So pretty nice. Um, another pair of canvas Sinook shoes and I'll throw these in the wash. They usually wash up really well. I love Sinook shoes. They're so comfortable in the summertime. Um, they have very little wear on them. Uh, so let's see, these are size eight, women's size eight. I also found these Vince Camuto little ballet flats. They are super cute. Not a ton of wear either. They're in really good, I mean, they're not excellent condition. Like there's like a little bit of wear on the back, um, but not, they're not, it's not bad at all. And I believe these are also an eight. Meh, where's this? There we go. Oh no, these are a 10. These are a 10, these are my sister-in-law's size. Hey Rachel, if you're watching, size 10. Women size 10, I love that. I love the bigger sizes. Uh, I got these cute little Skechers. I love these for my, my daughter, my four or five year old. She's gonna be five because they bling and sparkle and they're super fun and they're in really good shape. So they're called Twinkle Toes, Skechers Twinkle Toes. All right, these, I did not look up at the store and you guys are going to be, <laughs> this may be my best find of the entire day. These are men's Louis Vuitton sw brown suede um, tennis shoes. So that's what they look like. They need to be brushed. Like you can tell somebody probably had them sitting um, and they're missing the insoles. But other than that, they are in really, I mean, really good condition, made in Italy. So I didn't know anything about men's Louis Vuitton shoes. I don't know anything about Louis Vuitton really because I try to stay away from those higher end brands because I don't wanna get, you know, uh, in trouble for listing something that maybe isn't real, but um, these are really expensive. Like they typically, I mean, Louis Vuitton men's shoes don't go for less than $200 a pair. If I could even get $150 for these, oh my gosh, that more than pays for my entire trip. And then it has like Louis Vuitton right here and right here and made in Italy on the bottom. Um, so that was really cool. Men's size 10, Louis Vuitton brown suede shoes. Somebody just needs to get a new liner put in the bottom. Um, and 
they're good to go. So that's awesome. All right, uh, another pair of Sanook flip flops, and they hardly have, they're like gold. These are gold and they have like no wear on the bottom. So these are in very good condition and they are women's size seven. So those are cool. Now I grabbed these and I should have looked them up before I bought them, but I didn't. They're wherever and they're called bear traps and they're just little, they're little leather moccasins. Um, so here's what they look like. Here's the bottoms, but they don't really have, there are none of them on eBay. And then they have like the Sherpa on the inside. There are none of them on eBay. Um, I don't, I have no idea. They're eight and a half. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess that brand doesn't really sell that well. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Okay. Now on to clothes. I've got one more big bag to show you guys. So hang in there, hang in there. Cause I only go to the outlet every once in a while. Okay. I found this Jessica McClintock, um, like prom dress kind of, it's a size eight, but I just thought it was really pretty. It's like gold with pinkish uh, floral embroidery. And then it has the brown, pretty brown satin tie, has tulle underneath it. It's like a short dress, but prom season is coming up. So I thought that was really pretty. Need a place to the Roma stuff. Um, this is just a cassique um, blue, blue and white bra. It's in really good condition. It is a size 38 triple D, 38 triple D underwire, cotton, soft cotton. That's really nice. Um, this is a torrid. Okay. Oh my gosh. See, this is why that's going back to the pile. This happens all the time though. There's a reason people donate their stuff, not just because they don't like it. Sometimes it's ruined. Um, so that will go. It was like a wrap. It was like a floral, just huge, big wrap. Um, this is Lou and Gray. I didn't know a lot about it, but I saw the tacked on tags. And so I thought, oh, I'm just going to get that. It is very soft and it is a size small and it is um, just a kind of a waterfall cardigan sweater, heathered gray, long sleeve with pockets. So very soft. That may have had a spot on it. I don't remember. Here is an Ann Taylor Loft. I typically don't buy a lot of Ann Taylor Loft because I have not had good experience with it. It's an extra, extra small, but it's softened. It's their softened line. And it's this really cute little uh, chambray tunic, long sleeve tunic. So uh, Goodwill wanted, oh geez, they put the tag through the hole. Great. Anyway. They wanted $12.99 for it. Nobody bought it for $12.99. So it ended up at the bins. All right, another bra. I think I got a lot of the of this of this size. So I'm gonna lot them together. This is just a maiden form 36 double D. Just your basic. I typically don't buy maiden form, but I know that I have several of 36 double D's in here, so I was gonna just put them all together. Here is a women's extra extra large um, Nike. Um, racer back tank top with a built-in sports bra. So that is just nice. This is a great time to be listing um, your active wear because it's January. So everybody's got their New Year's resolutions. What are yours? I don't like New Year's resolutions because they put too much stress on me. Okay. Oh, this one I was, this is actually, I may just give, I was going to give to my sister-in-law. So Rachel, if you want this, this is an Old Navy extra large and it's long, long because she's super tall and it's just a hooded, very lightweight um, shirt, like pullover type shirt. Okay, another bra. This is a really good brand. That's why I got it. Um, the brand is called Notori. There's the symbol for it. And for those of you women out there watching, you know that bras are really expensive. And when you can find one that is your size 
and it's the style you like, you, you'll get it. So um, I, this is a 40 double D, 40 double D. Okay. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, this is just a brand new pair. I only get underwear if it's brand new because <laughs> we can't sell used underwear on eBay anyway. Um, but again, you find your favorite pair of underwear that fits your body good and you will buy it um, used. So this is just a made in form pair of panties. Um, I'll probably just put it up like $5 free shipping or $6 free shipping. This was cool because this is totally something I would have worn in high school, which makes it cool because I would have worn it. <laughs> like, yeah. DKNY, extra large. This is a purple velvet long sleeve crop mock neck. Well, I guess it's not too much crop. It's like right at the waistline. But oh my gosh, with a pair of high waisted jeans um, that are tight rolled at the bottom and a pair of Doc Martens. I actually had a purple pair of Doc Martens in high school. Bright purple. They were awesome. But so that's that's kind of cool. Hopefully that'll do good on Poshmark. <sighs> Probably not. Okay, I bought these um because I love this brand. It's cool. K-U-H-L. There's the label on the back. Oh, somebody used a fabric softener with these. <laughs> 3630. They are fairly worn. They've got they've got a good amount of wear to them. Like there's the pocket you can see. But they're still in decent condition. And these are people love their cool pants. So they have like the, I don't know what the style is called, but they're definitely like a workwear pant. Um, but yeah, 3630s. This is a Lucky Brand. Yes. Lucky Brand, size small, tunic, floral, long sleeve. It's cute. Um, and that's all I got to say about that. Let's see. This is... Disney Parks, Princess Tutu. My girls have enough tutus, so that's going to be going up on eBay. Oh, look, another bra. Ooh, did the light just go? Black, semi-sheer. This is a Bali, Bali, 3060. Why did I get that? I don't know. And, oh, yeah. If you guys see this brand, um, pick it up because it is a really expensive brand. It's called Kiki Pants. It's baby wear. And it is very expensive baby wear. And this is a little birdie um, baby, like um, little nighty. And I love, these are my favorite kind because for newborns and it is, they are super, super soft. So we need to put another little piece of elastic that has a little button on the back and it's miss. Oh no, it's not. It's built in. Oh yay. I don't have to fix it. That'll save me time. There we go. Oh my gosh. Isn't that so cute? So kicky pants, look for kicky pants. Um, I'll actually probably put this up on auction. They sell really well on auction because people are looking for them because they are butter soft. So soft. All right. This is um, cool. This is so soft too. And I haven't looked this up yet. It's called Chimera. Um, it is a size large and it is a super long tunic. Not super long. It's probably mid thigh. But it's like a, wa not tunic, it's this cardigan, like a waterfall cardigan sweater. So need to double check and make sure it doesn't have, I thought I, I looked it over a little bit, but the lighting is so bad in the Goodwill outlet. I think they do that on purpose. They just have really bad lighting so that you just buy it without really getting a chance to look it over well. So um, this is a Hannah Anderson jacket. Uh, size 110. This is another kids brand that um, does fairly well. So I think size 110 is like a size 5'6 um, US. So it's just a little star fleece hooded jacket. It's super cute. So 
tempted to keep that too. These were uh, Victoria's Secret pink panties. And yes, they are new. They have the tag in them. At least I hope nobody would wear these without the tag. Well, that would be really gross or with the tag in them. Um, these are, these were 1050 new. And then they say pink on the back. And they're size medium. Okay, I'm getting down there. Thanks for hanging in, you guys. This is so cute. I wish it was... I wish it fit me. This, the brand is Tulip. Again, I haven't looked this up. I actually bought this because I thought it would fit me, but then I realized it's an extra small. That doesn't fit me. It's extra small, but it's very oversized. So it's this very oversized um, button front tunic and it's long. It, You guys, it's so cute. It is so cute. And it's it's kind of like a beige gray with black buttons down the front. Um, and it is a high low hem, so it has the front is a lot shorter than the back. Um, I wish I could, I wish I could show you guys. And then there's pleats in the back. Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh, it is so cute. So I haven't even looked that one up yet. Uh, I found these, they're called Acorn and they're like boot socks and it's a set of two women's size large. They're still connected. They're new, never worn just fleece boot socks. And for those cold areas of the country in the Midwest that are super cold, this is a uh, Cabela's men's uh, zip off pants, just your basic um, khaki, their size 36, 30. Hey, they could go with those cool pants. They're the same size. Um, yeah, those are in good shape. Oh, and the, the, bottoms zip too. I didn't see that. That's cool. Very nice. A lot of the flaws that I find, I don't find them till I'm photographing, unfortunately, when I have really good lighting and I'm like, oh, there's like stains all over the front or discoloration or whatever. And that kind of sucks, but that's just how it goes. Okay. These are a pair of Nike dry fit extra large. Uh, these are youth extra large, not men's. Um, and they're gray, like fleece lined pants, just workout pants, kind of jogger style. Um, so those usually do pretty well. So quick story, there was a full on fight there. So the Goodwill outlet is definitely not for the weak at heart. You have to be kind of a strong head to go there and you can't let stuff bug you. So you, you, a real, a real scavenger goes to the Goodwill outlet. <laughs> so if you can barely handle a thrift store, you do not want to go in there. So there was a full on fight because one of the regulars there um, had found a rug and he had it rolled up underneath his cart and somebody else who was a regular was trying to take it out from his cart and he was screaming at him, don't touch my cart, don't touch my cart. And there, it just became like this. And I, I feel so bad because I want to, I want to record stuff so bad, but I get so in a zone when I'm in there that I totally forget I even have a, a phone. Like I'm just like, like going through stuff and I know my time is limited. So I almost need somebody to come along with me that can just videotape because it was hilarious. And th so these guys were fighting. And then by the time the next row came out, the manager got up and she's like screaming to the whole place. I don't want any more fighting. If I see any arguing or fighting, I'm kicking you out of here. And it was just yelling at everybody and they yell at her. Don't touch the bins until I say go. It's like, it's like serious stuff there. Don't touch anybody's cart. Lesson. You're going to get thrown down. Um, and then like literally less than 10 minutes later, I hear, I'm, I like walk, this happened like right next to me. Like I'm standing there looking through the the stuff and this is, I'm like, uh, like it's literally, and I can't get away because everybody's carts are like next to me. So I like eased out of there because I didn't want to get stuck in the crossfire. And then, like literally less than 10 minutes later, I hear these women screaming and there was a live mouse in one of the clothing bins. Like it just... I'm like, oh, this is so fun. <laughs> so if I could have recorded it, that would have been really cool. Okay, this is an, <laughs> back to, okay, story done. This is a moth. This is anthropology and it's this crop sweater. Look, at, it's obviously sheer. This crop sweater, it's like a, um, here's the sleeve. Cute little bow tie on there and it's like a, droopy sleeve and then it has like this crocheted lace like very romantic 
um, lace down the side. It's gray with this beige lace. And it is a size large. So usually the anthropology stuff, it's really hard to find larger sizes. Um, so yeah, that's super cute. So if anybody's interested in that. Uh, okay, I found a pair of men's Carhartt shorts. Carhartt always does well for me um, because it's workwear and workwear is expensive. And guys who like Carhartts, they like their Carhartts. So these are just men's carpenter shorts, denim. They're in really good shape. They are size 44. Yay. I like those bigger sizes. So they're size 44. Here is another pair of cargo shorts. These need to be washed. These are Levi's and they are size 36. Yeah, they're size 36 and they're just a pair, uh, they're just a pair of beige. Um, uh, what's the word with these kind of pockets? Cargo shorts. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm such a dork. It says it right in the tag. Cargo. What are these called? Oh yeah, cargo, cargo shorts. Good Lord. Okay, size 36, if you're interested, 36. Um, I actually found a pair of J brand jeans. I never find these, so I'm super excited and they're nice and destroyed in the knees. Skinny jeans, ankle, somebody cuffed these, but that's fine. Um, these are super cute. So when find, looking for jeans, especially in the bins, I'm gonna give you a couple tips. Always look in the crotch because I have found nast, nasties in there before. And I didn't realize that until I got home. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I touched that. Ah, you know, so always look in the crotch. Um, look on the seams, especially if they're stretched, because sometimes they'll tear right along the seam. Look at the pockets, check the buttons and the zippers, especially if it's a good brand, because jeans are a little bit more expensive. Um, and you're paying by the pound. So I paid a dollar 59 a pound. Um, and jeans are between one and two pounds usually. So that's, you know, two to $3 for a pair of jeans and you don't want to get home and they're absolutely destroyed and disgusting. So those are some tips for you. This is a Victoria's Secret size large. It's really pretty. It's just like, um, the satin long nighty with lace trim. And it's pink. Like that's just so romantic, this little pink. So I think it's just polyester. It's just a satin, but that's cute. I don't know how well it'll, Victoria's Secret doesn't sell very well for me, but I just liked it. And it was light, very light. Okay, this is, um, oh, I, I think I got this for my daughter. It's an Oshkosh, but gosh, size 6X. And it's just a cute little dress, oh my gosh. Look how cute that is. Look at those little flowers. Oh, I love it. 100% cotton. Oh, so cute. Can you tell I like kids' clothes? Kids' clothes and kids' shoes. Bah. Okay, just, just a Nike dry fit sports bra. Um, Nike Pro on the back. Really good shape. I don't, I don't think there was a size on this. It looks to be like a small medium right about there. So what I do is if it doesn't have a size tag, I've just put the measurements like across the bottom here and then the length. And hopefully that'll be good. Um, okay. Next is a pair of Athleta girls. I've never seen Athleta girl, um, pair of little, um, Capri leggings. I think they're Capris cause they're size six. No, they're size seven. So yeah, these are like little crop Capri, um, workout leggings. And oh, this I got for my daughter for her birthday that's coming up. It is a My Little Pony size five, six hoodie. And it's, I believe this is Shutterfly. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know my girls will because they, I'm sure, know who this is. But it has, so you zip it and it has the pony on the front and then the hood is the pony hood. <laughs> And it has wings. Like, how cool is that? My daughter has a My Little Pony dress with wings on it. And that's like her favorite dress. But it's a size four. And she's outgrown it. And so she can't wear it anymore. So now I got her a sweatshirt. Just to be more annoying. <laughs> okay. 
this is a, oh, I didn't, I didn't know the brand of this, but I just threw it in because it was really light. It's a Velocity size large. I haven't looked it up yet. It's a women's sports bra. So it has like a, um, like a, I don't know, is that like a star universe print on it? But it has a cool crisscross on the back. Um, so I'll look it up. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This was still in the bag. This is a bicycle jacket, a bi like a, a biking, yeah, jersey. Thank you, jersey jacket. Um, and it's brand new. I don't even know what that brand is. It's a 1X, so it's big. But anyway, I thought since it was brand new, I'll just put it up there, see what happens. It's getting to be springtime. People are going to be out riding more, and they might enjoy that. Or it'll sit in my store for a year, and I'll end up redonating it, because you know that happens too. Oh, this, these would go great with that purple velvet um, shirt. This is what I was talking about. These are some vintage Calvin Klein high waist. They're size 11, um, which is a junior size, so they probably fit somebody that is in like a size 7, because look how tiny that waist is. So. Um, but they are just a pair of high-waisted, um, light wash, straight leg, Calvin Klein jeans. Like just your classic leather patch on the back. Um, yeah, those would look really cute with that purple velvet top. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm getting close. Thanks, thanks for hanging out, guys. I know this is a super long video. If you're still even hanging out, I don't know. Pink bra, Victoria's Secret. Size 36 double D. Okay, that's going to go in the lot of 36 double Ds. Here is another bra. This is a wall coal, I believe, 36 double D. So that'll also go in the lot. Here is another bra. This is a wall coal 36 D. That'll probably go on its own. So wall coal is actually a pretty expensive brand. It's not cheap. Here's another Wacol 36, 38 double D. This one's a 38 double D. Um, but it's just a beige. It kind of got squished, but it has really pretty lace. Pretty, pretty lace in the back. Uh, another bra. This is a, another Victoria's Secret. The sun is fading. 36 double D. So again, I will put this in the lot. It obviously probably belonged to the same person but it has that cute stripe on the back and then it has the front clasp. So that's good. Um, I got socks for my son. And the last thing was, no, not, I guess I have a couple more things, but I got a pile of nylons cause they're light and I thought I would try selling them. And then I also got this pair of Levi's shorts. They're brand new. That's why I bought them. I typically don't buy women's Levi shorts, but they're still brand new with the tag on them. And they're just a cute pair of flat front khakis um, that'll go in summertime, spring and summer. And they're a size eight. So I think th that's about it. There were a couple things that I got that I aren't in here just because I'm already using them. One was um, a bed pad for my daughter. Um, they had all of, they had these big, huge boxes against one wall and in them were tons of linens. Oh, I did get this tons of linens and pillows. So, and they were all half off. So this is really cool. Actually, it is, um, pottery barn. I already washed it. It's like, a, it's a heavy cotton. It has the buttons on the back and there's a down pillow inside. So it's a big rectangular and I got it for 50 cents, 50 cents. So because it's down, it does compress easily. So I should be able to package it and like seal it up in a, you know, poly, big poly bag. It's a couple pounds, but I don't know. I'll put it up. If it doesn't sell, I'm happy to keep it because it's, it's cool. And it's a pottery barn, even the pillows pottery barn. So um, that was cool. So I got that for 50 cents. I was super excited. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. And I hope you have a great new year and thanks for sticking around to my longer video. And I hope to see you guys again soon. I'll try to get out some more videos. Bye.